welcome to the tutorial series on Mule Soft ESB. Today I will brief about data weave transformation. I would develop a Mule API to retrieve information stored in the database and then transform it to XML and JSON format using transform message. Another flow to understand XML to XML mapping using data weave. You can visit my blog, the link is given in the video description below. Create a new Mule project using AnyPoint Studio. In the message flow canvas drag and drop HTTP activity to the canvas then configure connector configuration and set the path and allowed method as get. Bring in database connector in order to connect to SQL server and add external reference of SQL jar. And in connector configuration choose generic database configuration and configure database URL and driver name as shown. Specify operation as select and then provide the select statement. Run the project and verify the flow using postman. On performing a get operation, Java object of cars is rendered. In order to render proper message, let's add an object to JSON transformer, then rerun and verify the output. The JSON output is rendered and is in a flat structure. But say a client wants to render a specific JSON format. In order to achieve this we would use data weave transformation. Delete the JSON transformer and bring in a transform message activity. Then enable data sense in database connector to see the output format. Go to transform message and verify the payload metadata on the source which represents cars object. Set the metadata on the output using a JSON sample of cars as shown. Now start mapping the source to output payload node. We would do a one-to-one -one mapping. As we map data weave language is generated. Once the mapping is completed, using preview option we can test the mapping with the sample data. Let's run and verify the transformed output.
build another flow to render output as an XML instead of JSON. In the transform message activity set the output metadata using XML sample of cars. one to one mapping as earlier and verify the behavior. As you can see output XML is quite different here all elements are generated under a single car node. Go back to the transformation and modify the data weave to loop through each car record and generate a corresponding XML node for it using map payload options. Test and verify the XML flow. Finally, create another flow to do XML to XML transformation for a repeating node mapping using data weave. Set both source and destination payload metadata and then script the data weave as shown to accomplish mapping for repeating nodes at source and destination.
run and verify the mule application. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks once again.